Jeremy's objective was to research a topic, something I think is very, very near and dear to us all. We all want to retire and retire comfortably. Um, I'm not so sure that's the case, seeing as how I'm going to live to be 142. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so uh, I'll start with um, what I really thought went well. Um, Jeremy, you spoke from a place of passion. Obviously, it's something that you do every day. Um, I felt that came through. I was engaged from the jump. I wasn't lost in any way. Uh, I liked your vocal variety. Kind of had the ebb and flow thing going. Uh, I thought which was uh, really good. It kept me awake, seeing as I'm very sleepy. Um, so I thought that was very, very well. Uh, I liked the supporting documents that you provided, the visualizations with the child. Uh, the science, I wasn't expecting it to go you know, in the pancreatic cancer direction, but I thought that it was well played. Um, I thought it added value. Uh, I thought you were very, very, very clear in what you uh, were trying to get across in the sense that we're all going to live a long time. We need to be aware of the fact that, you know, retiring at 65, expecting to die at 80 or 85 is not necessarily the status quo. It's not something that I think everyone thinks about every day. We kind of have this perception that 65, we're going to be done with work, and then we're going to more or less die in 20 years or less. It sounds kind of morbid, but I think maybe that's how most people think. I, I kind of do. thought it was well organized, uh, but one thing that I wanted to see was more emphasis kind of on the numbers. I felt like the speech leaned heavily towards the age and the science and the fact that we're going to live longer and some of the products that you talked about, I wanted more detail on. I'm sure there was more you could have gone into, but you had some time constraints. But I kind of was looking for more of the, how can I prepare myself for the fact that I may live longer than I anticipate. Um, I know you don't want to give us too much of the jargon. We're all not finance people. But I felt the way of the speech kind of leaned more towards the age, let's live longer, but then what are we going to do about it? Um, additionally, I think that how you held up a, a sign of the kid and the article, I'd probably want to see something with a graph of you know what your income could do if you decided to get one of these annuities, maybe a visual representation of, of what it means for my actual income. I know I'm a visual guy, so hearing it is good, but if I don't necessarily see like a graph that goes like this, <laughs> it's, it's, it's kind of hard for me. Um, but overall, I thought it was great. Uh, it made me think, which is good. Uh, I tend to, I don't want to say I get bored easily, but I can come in and out, but I, I was there the whole way. So, good job, well done.